Pali and this is just a brief tutorial on how to use a signaling mirror. Um, like I said before in my other videos, I'm registered to run Marathon de Sabas in 2016 in April and one of the required pieces of equipment is a signaling mirror in case we get lost so that we can signal to a rescue team, either a helicopter or someone on ground. And in order to use a signaling mirror, you need a light source. This could be the sun or the moon. Preferably, your target that you're signaling to is between the light source and you. But it doesn't necessarily have to be, but then your signal is not going to be quite as strong. So, first of all, if you're lost in the desert and you don't see a helicopter or an airplane or anything, what you then want to simply do is um, use the signaling mirror perpendicular to the horizon and simply um, fan it across the horizon. Um, slowly make sure it's perpendicular to the horizon. You can check and see where you've got. You can barely see. There's no sun in the sky today. It's very heavily clouded. But there's still a little bit of sun. You can see that here's here's the reflection onto my hand. So I know it's at the horizon. So I just fan it back and forth forth across the horizon in the hopes that perhaps miles away there's a rescue team that I cannot see but they can see my signaling mirror. Okay so in case there is an airplane or a helicopter in the sky how do I use this thing? Well there are some signaling mirrors that have a hole in the middle that you can use to sight this one does not. This is just I think for like a uh, uh, like a chain or something to hold it. So this is just a basic mirror. You can use any mir mirror or reflective surface. So I'm going to assume that there's a helicopter up in the sky. They can't see me. I want to signal to them. I'm looking up at this tower, so I'm going to I'm going to say my helicopter is up there in the middle window. So what I do is first I have to find my light source. Okay, I can find it on my hand. Okay, you can see. I don't know if you can really see it here, but I can see it in my hand a little bit. Just just faintly and then it goes away but I can see it so hopefully somebody else can see it too but I need to make a pinpoint I have no point in the um, uh, uh, in the middle of my mirror so I'm gonna have to make a target here between my fingers so if I can see this light on my hand and I look target up onto that window up there where I want where the, that's my helicopter I can take my light source I see it on my hand and I move it up so just that it's coming right at this area here and it's focused through there and I wave it back and forth and they should be able to see it up there. Um, the International Signal for Distress is this SOS that's three short flashes if you're getting good at this okay obviously if you're never used one of these before and you're in an extreme situation you're not going to be doing Morse code but these three short signals you can perhaps do okay you know you got your target you know you got your light you make you make a flash down flash down flash down SOS make a pause then do it again and that way if somebody sees it they don't think it's just a random uh, sighting of light they will see oh my gosh look there's somebody out there they need help and then this is also super handy because then when you get rescued you can check your